Yo guys, what is up? Davis here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a few things about basically taking a going to the score the store and basically buying any hard drive um, and then converting it to work on an Xbox 360 so uh, this will work on the retails and everything uh, and basically here's my RGH I have it right here now, this is my RGH not a retail console so but um right now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this hard drive and basically here's my crappy Xbox I haven't done anything to but I got this hard drive plugged in right now um, I've already done everything to that one and um, basically if you plug this in right now just like that right there so basically this hard drive would be in one of these and you would plug it in the top you know um, if you plugged it in it wouldn't show up at all right here so basically you're gonna need one of these right here you need a, a SATA to USB and you're gonna plug it in here let me do that plug it in just so you got it like that and now you're gonna plug it in here so let me unplug this and then plug the hard drive in and get it in there <laughs> all right so you got that in and it's basically Right now, it's gonna work like a flash drive. And it's gonna say unformatted. That's what you want. And then, basically, you're gonna format it. And as you can see, it um, didn't ask for the, secure, the uh, serial number. Cause it's working just like a flash drive right now, so. And then, yep, now you got the whole thing. And this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive, so I, I forgot to mention that. But um, now we're going to go over to the computer, and I'm going to show you guys what to do from there. All right, yo, what's up, guys? So now basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the hard drive, and you're going to, with a, with a SATA USB, you're going to plug it in, just like you did with the Xbox. You're going to plug that into your computer. Mm -hmm. And then wait for that to load up. Probably won't say anything is on it, but um, yeah, there we go. So a local disk, that's a good thing. And also, I forgot to mention, you can actually, you do not have to format it on the Xbox just like you did. Uh, but you, you can do it on the computer too. But it doesn't matter either way it works. Uh, I, I just say it, I just think it's easier doing it on the Xbox. But you can do it either way. Anyway, um. Alright, so here's the hard drive right here. And basically, what we're doing is we're gonna make the hard drive a FAT32. It's, it needs to be, uh, format FAT32 or whatever, so that it will work on the Xbox. And then you're gonna need this program right here, which basically makes it a FAT32 format. And that's what we want. So you select your hard drive, make sure you have the right one. Make sure it's not, whoops. Make sure it's not um, C, your C drive or something that's really important. You don't want to format that. So select E, which is the one where uh, that I've shown in this video. And then go ahead and start it. I gotta close this. Then it will work. Formatting. <laughs> and it's done, guys. So if you put this on your Xbox now, it'll show up and it'll be 500 gigabytes or how many, however many uh, gigabytes your hard drive in, and then you got a working hard drive. So yeah, guys. Um, last thing I want to mention: this will not work on. Um, uh, you can't play original Xbox 360 games on this hard drive uh, because you need to write a whole bunch of firmware. This is just the easy way. 
to play and save your games like Xbox 360 games so yeah guys that's all for this video I'm not gonna hook it up to the Xbox because I don't want to turn it off right now and then restart it because I'm talking to my friends but yeah uh, guys check out my other videos I'll have more coming today hopefully so yeah guys uh, check out my Instagram do all that good stuff see you guys later